So I was thinking, the other day, when playing Skyrim, what would the strongest artifact in the Elder Scrolls be? Then I thought over each one of the games with the characters that you play, and the interactions you have had with creatures, different heroes and all the villains in the Elder Scrolls series. You come across a lot of weapons, shields, types and pieces of armors, and all the wonderful and wacky artifacts from Daedric Princes to gods alike. Now if you have played the very first Elder Scrolls game, Elder Scrolls arena, like I have, then you will have met the infamous and notorious battle mage who served Emperor Uriel Septim, the infamous mage known as Jaeger Tharn. But I like to call him Jaegermeister because I can't get enough of his sweet evil schemes, and I wish more villains were like him. He was pretty successful in what he did and that was enslaving the Emperor for a decade and nearly bringing Merun's Dagon, that dirty dirty Daedric Prince, onto Nern, but we all know how Dagon's schemes go, right? Right? They don't go well guys, he's a filthy failure. Not like Maik though. Maik conquered the world once. It was glorious. What was that Maik? Did you say it liked this video so I know to make more in the future? See, this Khajiit, he, he just got mad spirit guys. Mad kitty cat spirits. So, the Staff of Chaos, do you know what it is? Well, fear not, I am about to tell you if you don't know because that is my job and you are going to maybe agree or disagree with me on why I think it's pretty much the strongest artifact on Nern, or the strongest staff anyway. So this staff was fashioned in the very first era of the Elder Scrolls by a human enchanter known as Loreth. Not much else is known about Loreth, but they obviously were good at what they did because this staff is the shiz man like Loreth, because Loreth is a man. It is freaking powerful. So powerful it was deemed too powerful by mages and kings alike and so it was stuck into the catacombs under Mournhold. At the time Baron Zaya was queen, you may know her from her irritating as crap stones which she has hidden around Skyrim that you have to collect. It is said that Jaegermeister manipulated the queen in some tactical way, either by disguising himself as a bard called Nightingale or employing one of his mercenary servants to help out. For you see, the Staff of Chaos is a key factor in the main quest in a arena. You play as the eternal champion who is just a human and the game takes place over the course of 10 years. Jaegermeister served as Uriel Septim's private battle mage but Yaren was debating tactics and evil schemes with Merun's Dagon, the Daedric Prince of Destruction. The main plan being to bring Dagon into Nern, just like in Battlespire and just like in Oblivion. Jaegermeister used his staff to teleport Uriel Septim to a plane of Oblivion with his personal guard and kept him here for all the game. He then used an illusion spell of sorts to disguise as the just disappeared emperor where he could do his evil scheming with all the power in Tamriel at his fingertips. To stop anybody from interrupting his plans he broke the staff into 8 pieces and spread them all across the Tamriel plain. This is your quest to collect all pieces and it takes the character around a decade I think according to the lore. By the end of collecting them the champion forges the staff and with the help of Yarn's dead apprentice who he murdered mind you, you stop Jägermeister and save the emperor and Tamriel is at peace again. This whole event, the whole decade was referred to in lore as the Imperial Simulacrum. I think that's how you pronounce it. You know, since the Emperor's image was stolen all that and the word kinda suits it. It was thought that before all this crap that the staff would never be destroyed or lost. But this isn't what happened. When the Eternal Champion touched the Jewel of Fire, the Jewel being Jaeger's life force put into one tiny gem, but with the Staff of Chaos he destroyed and disintegrated Jaegermeister to which he never served a refreshing drink ever again. Some cool things about this staff is that it's mentioned by Shea Goran and Iso and that it was reassembled 750 years prior to the events of Arena, but no mention of the staff ever appears again in any other game. You can actually see the events take hold with the staff on Alduin's wall in Skyrim if you look at it. That is the events of the Elder Scrolls Arena if you ever wondered what that part with the man with the big stick was. This thing had some raw power. It can even teleport things between entire worlds, never mind simple planes of oblivion. This staff is powerful and it was said to be indestructible, which is why Thar never disposed of it and instead split it up into a bunch of pieces. But the staff is gone now, into the wind somewhere, probably Bethesda Game Studios didn't expect this to become like an 11 game franchise, so and it was probably just forgotten by the developers. But the staff is super cool and super powerful and in my opinion the most powerful artifact in terms of just raw power. Nothing beats it. I am probably completely wrong but it's just my opinion. But yeah, anyways, what topic should we delve into next? Just let me know in the comments below. Anyways though, that's it for today's video and if you do like this type of content make sure to like and subscribe to help with it in the future so I know what's going on with the channel. I hope you all have a fantastic day, week, month or year and I'll see you in the next one.